We are doing the CAT or Computer Application Technology Grade 12 Paper 1 or PRAC exam from November 2022. And we just did question one, which was a word question. And we're going to do the next word question, which is question two. So let's get into it. So as I said, this is another word processing question. And we are dealing with a Word document called Two Competition, which I've got open up already over here. And what do they want us to do? So 2.1, modify the drop cap W found in the first paragraph as follows. They want to position the drop cap so that it does not appear in the margin and format the drop cap over three lines and set the distance between the drop cap and the text to 0.5. So there are three things that we need to do there. So let's come and look over here. So there's the drop cap over there. So I'm going to click on it and we're going to right click and see if we can change the drop cap options there we go there's drop cap when you doubt always say right click so the first thing that they wanted us to do is to make it that it does not appear in the margin so we don't want it none so it must be maybe that option so that's the only option available to us and they said we must format the drop cap over three lines at the moment set to four so let's make it three and they also said that the distance from the drop cap well, i think it was 0 0.5 so that must change to a 0 0.5 you can go double check those details there. I think that is correct. So let's try it and go, okay, boom, and there we go. So there's a little bit of a gap. It's over three lines and it's not in the margin anymore. So there we go. That's the first question done. 2.2, insert a three-point paragraph border around the text that starts with please share via and ends with number of share. So let's come over here. Please share via number. No, so there, I think it's there. That's the text that we must change. That's the text that we must put a border around. So we're going to insert a three point paragraph border. So I've selected the text and we're going to come here to a paragraph border. So I'm just going to borders and shading straight away because that's going to be my easiest option. They wanted to make, you see there, a three point paragraph border and around the text. And that's it. Okay, so we're going to put a three point. So let's make a three point. So let's find three point. And we're going to put a box so that it goes around all of it and apply it to the paragraph. Let's go. Okay, boom, there we go. So a three point paragraph border around the text. Let's go to 2.3. Write a link in the text when when to navigate to the following website. I must go to that website. I'm lucky because I've got this in a document. I can actually just copy and paste it. You can't do an exam because you won't have the digital one. That win 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 must be in a hyperlink. So I select the text and we're going to then come here to insert. Now I think there's a hyperlink option over there. There's the link. And so I'm going to click on the link so we can come here to the options. And we wanted to go to a web page. And over here, the address is going to be, I'm just going to paste it over there. Let's go Safari address. I'm going to click OK and see what it does. So it's now a link. If I put my mouse over, you can see it goes to that particular address. So let's go to 2.4. Okay, there's quite a bit here for 2.4. There's edit the form below the heading competition form as follows. So let's go to that. So below the competition form. So there we go. There's the form. And they want us to replace the text 2.4.1 with an appropriate form control with the following options. So we want to have those options. Now, if I come here, so that one must change to one of those options. Now, if you do not have the developer tab available, you need to access it. I can show you how to do that. If you just go anywhere in the blank spot, you can right click there and customize your ribbon. And then when you see this, you must just make sure that the developer tab is ticked so that you've got access to it. So we can click on the developer tab. And so I've selected that text. I want to change it to a combo list box because we've got three different options there. You'll see there are three different options. So that's going to be like a combo box. So let's look at what we've got here. We're going to check there's a nice little combo box or drop down form field. Either one of those should be fine. Anything along those lines. I'm going to click the, comp the drop down list box. Boom. And then I'm going to right click on it to go to properties. And yeah, we can add those values of less than 35, 35 to 50 and greater than 35. So less than 35. Add it, 35 to 55, add it, and then greater than 55. Double check that we've got those values correct. There we go. So those are my options. Add them, boom, and click OK. So that's going to be in my list control. Next question, 2.4.2. Format the cell number to be an appropriate data type and length. So we've got to figure out which one is the appropriate one. So let's come here. So we want to the cell phone number. So I'm going to right click on it and go to properties. What would be appropriate for a cell phone number? First of all, we don't want it to be a number because otherwise we're going to lose the zero and we don't know if it's going to be a plus two seven. So I'm going to make it just regular text. I think that's a good idea. And an appropriate length. Oh, well, if we're thinking about cell phone numbers like 083 or something like that, they tend to be 10 numbers in characters. So let's make it a maximum length of 
10. I think that would be suitable. I think if you'd said like 11 to 14, I think you would have probably gotten the marks because it is possible for a cell phone number to have plus two seven in that rate. I think most people know that there are 10 numbers in a cell phone number. So I think that's okay for that. We had to think about that. They didn't tell us exactly what we had to think about it. And then two, four, three, the number of extra entries will be twice the number of times a person shared the form via WhatsApp. Modify the extra entries to calculate how many extra entries a person will get. They must use a bookmark inside the number shared field so we basically want to make a calculation here so the calculation is the number of entries is twice the number of times they've shared and we're going to get that shared from the number shared field okay so that's quite tricky so i'm going to show you a little how to go around and do that so the first thing is there's the number shared and there's the entry that's that's what we want to change i just want to just show you this if i right click over here go to properties you'll see that this bookmark is, is the word share which means in order to access that value we can refer to the value called share so we use that keyword we can use that in the calculation it will then go and fetch whatever's over there so that's fine so then let's come over here and if we go to properties we want this to be a calculation. There it is. There's calculation. So what is the expression? Well, the expression is, they said, the number of entries will be twice the number of times they've shared. So we know that the share value over there, so we'll type in the word share, and we want to double it. So I'm just going to times about two and click OK and see. So at the moment, it's zero. So if we put in a value in here, like a three, it'll then do three times two. It'll put a six there. So I think that should work. You can always double check by doing the restrictive editing so let's move on 2.5 find the text that starts with backpackers and ends with friends and there we can see it's all those little blockies over here it's all these blockies yes yeah, all this text we want to find that text and apply a word processing feature to display the text as shown below we want to show it like that that means we probably want to put it in some sort of table so let's go have a look here so we want this in some sort of table so i'm going to take that text and let's see if we can convert it into a table let's go insert table convert the text to a table and we want three columns and we want three rows if i remember correctly that looked like three columns let's do three rows and we'll merge that last one i think we'll do that let's see what it does so it does that okay it's quite nice well, this last one though we if you looked at the diagram there was only one little blocky there so i'm going to come here and merge this so that it looks like that so i think that looks like what we want eh? does that look okay so yeah we've got a three by three table and but the last one's merged i think that's pretty spot on 2.6 add a signature line below the question 2.6 and allow the signer to add comments let's come down here to yes 2.6 so we're going to add a signature line so let's go to insert and see what options we got available there that looks like a signature let's go oh add a signature line so let's go add a signature line so we're going to add signature line so let's click on it and what do they want me to do? They want us to add a signature line and allow the signer to add comments. So is there anything to allow the signer to add? This looks like it's spot on. So let's do that. And we're just going to click OK and see what it does. And there we go. So they can add a signature and they can right click and they can add comments to it if they want. If you forgot to do that last bit, you can always right click and do the signature setup and do it over there if you want so there we go so they think that's the only feature that they wanted so 2.7 the last bit for this word question find the heading competition terms and conditions so let's scroll down oh there it is boom it's competition terms and conditions change the character spacing of this text to condensed and change the paragraph spacing of the text below to 15 after so let's go and select that heading just the heading that we want to change and we're going to come here to home i'm going to come here to font and I'm going to come here to advance and they said we want spacing must be condensed. So I'm going to select condensed here, yeah, not expanded, but condensed. They didn't mention any other of the values. And they said that the paragraph spacing of this heading to 15 points after that feature is not done over here. So we're going to click OK so that it's condensed. But we're going to come here to paragraph now and we want we want the spacing to be 15 points after after i think it was 15 points not centimeters 15 points after so there we go so the after must be a 15 so let's click okay so there we go it creates a little bit of a gap and it is condensed i think those are the last two marks for that question there we go we've done all the word question now we can move on and see if we can excel at the excel question in our next video remember all the links to the other videos and the data files are in the video description it would be great if you could support the channel by clicking on the subscribe button and sharing us with others leave a like leave a comment we'd love to hear from you and remember don't do it the long way do it the mr long way